Hello there, greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, light for your daily path. This is episode 417, and our topic today is the love code. And this is part six. Our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Now, as humans, we will always be offended by various things and people. But as Christians, we must intentionally allow God's love to dominate our minds, our emotions, our will. Because this is how God expects us to live. This is how we live out the supernatural life. God's word reminds us in Romans chapter 5 that God has poured out his love to fill our hearts. God gave us his love through the Holy Spirit whom God has given to us. So everyone with the Holy Spirit is full of love. You must allow this consciousness to guide you at all times. It is expected that people will hurt and disappoint us, sometimes intentionally, some other times unknowingly. It is also important to note that God has specific instructions for responding to hurts. He doesn't want anything to get in the way of what he wants to do with our lives. He doesn't want anything to give the enemy a platform against us. He doesn't want anything to impede our demonstration of authority over the works of the enemy. The Father understands that bitterness and unforgiveness in our hearts will prevent us from living the glorious and the victorious life that he desires for us. God's healing is always available, regardless of the hurt. He wants you to forgive and accept his grace for restoration amongst many other beautiful things. No matter what anyone has done to you, bitterness and unforgiveness will not bring you peace. It will not bring you restoration. But forgiveness will open the way for God's restoration. This is God's counsel to you and I today. Forgive anyone who's hurt you. Let go of the issues and deny the enemy the pleasure of seeing you live in bitterness. God's love is rich in your heart. Allow it to lead you in everything. This is God's word to us today. Now here is our task. Declare this to yourself. The love of God is rich in my heart. I do not make room for bitterness and unforgiveness in my heart. The Holy Spirit guides me daily to walk in love with everyone. Yeah, repeat that as often as you can until every part of you believes it. It's God's word and God's counsel to you. Now, please pay close attention to the wisdom push for this declaration and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. And I encourage you to please visit our website so you can have access to the text version of this devotional. The web address is on the screen right now. And if these devotionals are a blessing to you, what are you waiting for? Tell someone about it. Be a voice to make sure more people get access to this incredible devotional that's adding value to your lives and to others. God bless you richly. Have a great day, Father.